Okay, I'll jump into the disclaimer quickly. Mm -hmm. This talk is intended for educational purposes only, reflects our opinions, and is based on our best judgment, but no warranty is given or implied as to their accuracy. Past performance does not guarantee future performance. No investment or trading advice whatsoever is implied by our commentary, coverage, or charts. Not much to say here about SPY. I mean, it's bad. I mean, past five days, you can see it's just been in this really tight range here. Uh, pretty low volume with the exception of today. We had that slight uptick, 114% daily average. And mm -hmm. that's uh, 30 days trailing. I am continuing to watch just kind of the, the prior highs there, see how we digest this. I mean, obviously, I think everyone is kind of watching, you know, this and what, what's developing here. Um, you know, we're back at the highs. So are they going to start to block gains, take profit? We got the election cycle to think about as well. So a, a lot of things coming up into the, the end of year in terms of near term, uh, like next couple of days, I'll probably just watch like tomorrow. I'll probably just be looking at today's range. Are we going to take the highs or, or bust through prior day low um, and, and make some decisions off of that? That's that's all I really got, Mario. If you want to go ahead and take it away. Sure. I'll make you host. So hey Kumar, welcome. And all right, your host. I'm a host. Let me see. Share the screen. So I can get kick anybody out, right? That I want. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know. Hey, remember if, if for any reason you don't hear me or something, call me on my cell phone because you know, I, I think it's good, but it, we, we should be all right. So Okay. Anyways, oh, so I got here, I got the chat right there. I get to see it. Okay. So we were talking about the, the markets. The market is like, uh, this is uh, summer trading. This is what I call summer trading. Here's my five day moving average on the volume. And we see that apart from today, which on the queues, I got 82%. So we didn't even make normal volume for that, right? So we have lower 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 volume which is like for me it's pretty much no trade and remember guys we try to we try to get take advantage basically what, what we do is momentum so bear in mind that whenever you see a low volume day your odds of you know your your trades based on momentum are, are, are like less likely to work so take advantage of the not the open not necessarily the open i'm not encouraging you to encouraging you to trade the first minute, the first 30 seconds, the first five minutes. You don't need to. If you're paying attention, you can always find a trade around 940, 945, and that's going to be, you know, whatever, probably what's going to make your day on days like today or the last two days where pretty much nothing happened. So here's the cues. Here's what's going on. Um, we just made the new highs, 275. I think that was, uh, that was a move on Monday. Right, that I wasn't trading Monday. We all had the problems with uh, Tinko Swim, so we have this is what we have a consolidation right here. Um, looking for the basically, we, we saw what um, what Apple was doing, so I, I think that's 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 my main my main thing. I want to make I want to take a couple seconds right here because I want to discuss something that I think is important for, especially for new guys watching this and everything, right? So we got Tesla, uh, and I'm going to use it as an example for something, right? Basically, if, you, if you're familiar to what we do, and I think uh, Kyle also uses the same, the same method, right? We, we use something that is called a week off method. And basically what we do is price cycles, right? We try, to, we try to paint all the time. We try to find the structural logic behind the movements, right? In order to take advantage of them, right? Basically, that, that all means is like, you, you have this move in re, right here, Right, so I want to see the structure. So if you know me, you will know that I will say like, "Wow, well, that's that's pretty pretty simple. That's that's a bullish pattern, right?" Uh, let me see, because uh, that's a bullish pattern because we have a breakout of a base and now we're consolidating, right? So most of the times, and I know last time we had this conversation right here, because the call and I'm I'm on the record. That's 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 a, that's a recording on that, right? We said Tesla is in a big compression, right? And we were thinking that, I mean, we, we call it range and we said basically the, the big move or the good 
trade should be 1540, 1550 for Momo trade, which is right here, right? And that should take us to new highs and we make the new highs and that was Monday and now we up here, right? On the other side, all the time that I'm looking at a chart, I understand that some bad news could happen and this could break, right? Because these things go, but you know, this, this is kind of a different story. This is not a pharmaceutical, whatever. Now it's like more, more of a good story, right? Now be, people believe in Tesla, what it actually is. So here's the point that I, I'm trying to make. The week of basically, it's always looking for relationship between supply and demand, right? The forces, right? The forces at play at any point in time in any of the stocks or the markets that we're, we're analyzing, right? So at this point in time, what you gotta be asking is how strong are those sellers? Because yeah, it went down to support, right? So the call was like, if you really want to do it on Tesla, I say you can trade, that's a range between 1425 to 1360. So you can take a scalp short, right? If you're in the, in the room, you will know that that's not the trade that I'll be taking. Basically at 1360, if I think that's support, I'm the one that's gonna be buying that. Just that disclosure, so you know how we trade and there's different styles because, because some of you know, but I was actually buying Tesla at this point. So that's the trade, right? So that's the way I trade. That's the context that I use for trading. I'm always evaluating support, resistant. That's all we're gonna do. The exercise that we're gonna try to do today is basically we're gonna go for, for an hour trying to find the structure, right? The logic behind the moves. If we cannot see anything, I just move on and we call it a day, we, we, we go to another trade or whatever. So I'm not gonna analyze every single trade, every single stock that moves because some of them I cannot see structure. So for Tesla, what do we have from here? Well, from here we have 1923 and you know what to do, right? New highs and we should go to, I don't know, what, what will be the target? Uh, are you thinking targets on that one? Um, probably, 2, probably 2000. I've been using a tool, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm testing it, but may work. So this is basically, you go to the FIP retracement, you take the high, you go to the low and look at the 127 where it shows. So that's 1901, right? The, sec the second one will be 2045. So if we're going by fifths, we should see 2050, 2045 as targets. So that's one of it uh, I'm gonna be calling, right? When I see stock that everybody knows the move and is so clean, I use fifths because everybody, a lot of, a lot of us, like how, how can you guess a target from here? I have no idea. But is it that a coincidence that we just went from here to exactly the 127, 2%? which is 1901. So let's call it 1923 and we should be looking at the 2045. So keep an alarm if you're going long, if you're playing uh, Tesla into the 40, 2040 actually, right? And then we go to 2000 because it's psychological, but we know that if we go a little bit more, we gotta be paying attention to 2045. So that's another tool you can guys use that's uh, Tingo Swing have it. So just go the other way around, right? Usually it's from here, low to high. Now it's from high to low, and then you project, and that's how you get your targets. Because I told you guys a couple couple sessions ago that I didn't know how to do it, so I'm, I'm testing on that one, right? So let's go to the news. NVIDIA basically just reported. Uh, it, was a, it was a premium killer, because I, I think it was implied like a 6 to 8% move, right? Kyle, uh, can you check the, the, well, we'll check the, um, the options, but I think it was like six to eight percent move. If somebody can do it, so basically that's what that's this is what we have. We have the 500, which we, we were looking for, which is uh, new all-time highs right here. We see it on the daily chart, the 500. So we're looking at that one. That's the green line. That's the next leg, supposedly, right? We reported. After we reported, we touched the 500. Now what we're trading right now is 475. So it's selling off. We still probably, they, they still have some more things to come. Like, I don't know if the conference call is already on, you know, running or something. But here's what I wanna, here's what I wanna look for that. I wanna look at the 475 to 465, right? So I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is like, if we start breaking this level right here, 480, I'm gonna show you here, because this is, this is where the volume is for me. 
to the left right here, right? We try to break it. Not much of, remember, I want to see how, how strong the buyers are. So they didn't step up, but I have the volume right here, which is a coincidence. So you, I got 480, 90, 4, 4, 480, 90. So that's 481. So I'm talking 479. Once, start, once I start seeing 479, scalpers can scalp to 473, right? If we break that one, I have nothing until we pretty much go over this prior base that we have. So we have a target of 455. Now that makes sense for me guys, right? We're talking 475, 455, 465, 455. So that's a call for NVIDIA. If we don't break, I wanna be long 450, I mean, I'm sorry. I wanna be long momentum over 500, but let's look tomorrow the 479, okay? And how we react to 479, cause we may take a shot to the downside if this continues like it is, like going down. 465, 455 to the downside. And that's gonna be a gapper for tomorrow, right? So that's one of my go-tos. I usually post a gapper, which will be Nvidia, a second day play, which is gonna be target most likely. Why? Because we just make new all-time highs. We have a pretty clear level right here. So it's gonna be over 155, 54 that we have after hours. So let's look at 155.50 for a second day play in target. So that makes it number two for tomorrow, right? And then we're gonna have BABA, which is gonna report earnings prior to the market opening. The implied move for that one is plus or minus 14 points. So that will put us into 260, that will be 274. So we still need to wait till tomorrow. So now you know that for tomorrow, we're gonna be looking at 268 and 274 right? The implied move plus a green line in order to make a, a, um, a, an assessment into BABA. Why am I bringing BABA ahead of the earnings? Because, well, after tomorrow, we'll know where, where we're going to open. And this is, this is the chart that I consider to be in control of BABA. We have a massive pullback. This is a monthly chart. And now we have the break Remember guys, we we're trading this one from 240 to 270. So we did this trade. We've been waiting for months now. Well, sorry, weeks. It looks like months, but it's been weeks. So it's also almost a month and a half. If we finally can break 274, I think we go 300. So that's one trade that I wanna be in, okay? So BABA is gonna be a gap tomorrow. So let's watch the gap. If it's positive, 274, 268, 300 is the target, okay? Now let's go to Apple because he make, uh, I think he made new highs today, but he just came back. So for Apple, it's going to be pretty simple. We just got a, a range for 70 to 440. So I'll be looking to see if this is holding. Look, look, look at the chart in Apple. Guys, it's just like, this is so hard for me. This is really hard to trade. One, two, three, four, five days, tight consolidation. Usually what it does is it's just going to go pop, go pop and leave us behind, right? So let's see if that's going to happen. One, two, three, four days, got pop, one, two, three, and then a big day up. So I'm expecting a big day up, but I don't know with the markets, right? We have increased volume today. It's been trading very slow, very low volume over the last uh, three or four sessions. So finally we have some volume today, but I think some people got trapped at the highs, right? Let's look at the, um, like uh, I said, I wasn't, I wasn't looking, I wasn't in the market. I wasn't looking at the market after past 1 p.m. because I know there were some FOMC meetings, so I wasn't even looking. So it's probably that. That's what happened. So, anyways, alarm uh, 468, and let's hope that Tink of Swing let us know in advance, not like half an hour later after you trigger. So Apple 47440, that's a range. Got it down, Tanner? Okay, Amazon. Amazon is oh. simple too. This is gonna be, if you really wanna scalp this, and I know you guys, some of you guys love to do it. Uh, I'm chicken for that one. So 32 right here, 32.24, Oh, you can use, you can use the pre-market high from today. So he's gonna be 33.27. And that's a long, right? What I wanna be really looking at is if we go over 32.45, which is gonna be my green line. And I'm gonna just do my green line here for those of you that know what I do. So that's like my go to 3245. All it means is that we are at, uh, I mean, I should expect to see 
some continuation after that. We, we're pretty close, guys. So basically, if you're buying before, we just, we're just buying into the intra to swing, what I like to call intra to swing, meaning you're trying to get a better entry and hold some into the bigger move, which should come after we hit the 3345. Target for that, I think it's going to be 3450. Uh, so it's uh, 150 points from there, 3450, 300. Uh, 3550, sorry, 3550, 3550, 3450, 3550, once we break over the highs. So that's Amazon, pretty simple, pretty clear what we got to do over there. Google, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm liking this one, guys. I'm liking it. And I'm going to show you something. Uh, I think it was, was it Tesla? Yeah. When we started talking about Tesla last, last, the last, um, last meeting, I pointed out to you that I use this indicator. This indicator is uh, John Carter's uh, squeeze indicator. All it means is that we're in a consolidation, right? It's like, if we don't see it with our eyes right here, this thing right here is telling me, oh, you're consolidating, right? So basically what we have is usually once you consolidate, you could, and you should, but you could have an explosive move. And we have it right here with volume and everything, right? So what I'm looking at Tesla with Tesla is, oh, by the way, they say that he just put another $3 million trade on Tesla. <laughs> Crazy. So here's what we got on, on Google, right? Look at Google here consolidating. Now it tried to make it, so sometimes it doesn't work, right? So we went back. Now what we have is 15 days sideways consolidation. We have this, we discussed this at the, the last meeting. We discussed the, the hammer right on the 50 MA. We try to break point of control, which you know is a lot of volume. So finally, what I like is two things, actually. I like the fact that we're still in a squeeze. Basically, we're still in, in a tight range. Volatility is still low, right? That's one of the things that I like because I'm, 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 I'm expecting a, a, at any point some release of the energy. That's one of the things that I like. Second thing that I really like is that we're finally over the point of control, right? So we got all of this volume behind us. So we, should, we shouldn't see anybody on top of us. So actually this is like probably the main watch that I'm gonna have for big moves. So Google over 1570, that'll be our Momo entry, 1572. Same idea that I'm thinking for uh, Amazon. So I wanna go long 1570, 1572. Don't worry about it if you missed it because the main entry is gonna be 1590, right? Once we take the new highs, you know what to do. Just, just close your eyes and, and place the trade with proper sizing. That's the key, proper sizing. If you put too much size, you're going to get scared whenever he drops two points on you. But if you have proper size, you'll be able to write it. Targets should be 1630, 1650. So I'm looking for 1630, 1650 in Google. Okay. So hopefully next time we meet, we're going to have a big move in Google and everybody's getting paid. Everybody got paid for that one. Okay, so Google it is. Now let's look, let's look at another one that I've been looking and I thought it was going to, it was going to go today. So this pattern in Facebook, you all know it. What I'm looking for is have, have a volume profile right here. So I know there's volume right here in case, in this case, we don't have the consolidation right here. We don't have the squeeze. It doesn't matter because we trigger right? We have this big move. So now we're out, but I do have the, I do have the, the, um, the volume behind me, right? So what I want is I want a true break over 268. I was calling today 268.25 intraday, but I think uh, I'm going to give it to 268.50 just for the, remember, this is, this is a study that, I mean, this is for a swing or for the longer term. So we should see 268.50, and that'll be my entry into Facebook. Do I wanna go short? Um, I don't wanna talk about it, to be quite honest. I, I'll probably sit aside, and unless we go into 240, no. I, I mean, if, if we start seeing 255, I'm gonna be looking for reasons just to buy it, right? Accumulation and continue the accumulation. Look last time what happened after we reported earnings, he just started going down and if you started shorting, we did this trade, we call it in the room, everybody caught it, caught it that day. It was amazing. So you gotta be on top of this. One, two, three, four days into support, 
go long, right? So now what we have is we, we, we're forming another base. So that's another way to trade it. This is not a trading seminar, so you should all know how to trade those. If you don't, DM me or Kyle, okay? Here's Twitter. And um, for Twitter, I know it was, um, it was getting kind of hot today. Uh, I want to see it break uh, 35.50 for intraday and 40 for the swings, right? And we should be looking at 45, which is the all-time highs. Um, what I like is we're, again, we're above the point of control. We finally clearing, clearing uh, this uh, volume profile, this uh, uh, last, um, you know, this, this volume that we have right here, the level of uh, 38. And it's just, it looks like slow accumulation to me, right? All we need is a, is a catalyst, a trigger. So this one can go probably tomorrow, or day after tomorrow. So just keep an alarm on that one, 39.50, whenever the market decides to, to move with some volume, likely it's gonna go. So Twitter over 39.50, over 40, and we go 44, 45, that's 10%, 15% target. We got pains, which we've been looking for at, I'm sorry, after the big uh, earnings report. So what we have is, a, is a, it's just forming a, a range. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna get involved in that range. I don't wanna put anything in that one. I don't wanna anticipate. I just wanna trade whenever we clear 38.25. Or if um, if we start losing 32, I'll probably start looking at this one, right? You can even be more aggressive um, and trade volume profile, but for the most parts, I don't trade the volume profile, so I'm not gonna be shorting 34, but if you, if you really see like an intraday pattern and you really wanna short, and this is in your short list or whatever, you can, you can absolutely do it. Because what I have here is the 33.70, but I want to be short on the 32. Why? Because we can see a reverse or probably just test to test the the the, the to, to close the gap. It will be 27. So that's five points. So that's like uh, what is it? Like 15%. And if we got some bad news, it could go 25. So I got big targets on pins if we're gonna short. Okay. So for pins, watch it. Trade it as a range, absolute range. Both sides, guys. Snap, just because I know some of the guys are, are following this, I, I, don't, I don't really like it. I like the weekly chart because um, it looks like it's putting a buy setup, right? You go up, pull back, you find some support. Now you want to go long, 22.50 if you want to go long, snap. So 22.50. Um, Target 123.74, which is like a little bit too too small for me, but I don't I know they're they're hot with the TikTok thing and everything. Now let's look at Netflix. Let's go with the um with the streamers, right? So this one we call it 511, 510, 510, 511, because we thought that it was gonna do something like test the 50 MA, put a lower high higher low, I'm sorry, a higher low, new high, and then it never made it. This is so important, guys. I remember that day. We went like 20 cents from trigger. If you jumped the gun, you lost. If you just held, no, no problem with you, right? So now we have the line of sand right here, which is 511, 512, right? And I wanted this to hold. The problem is that we, 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 we're, we're pretty close to that, the 484. If you see here, I have a 489, just you lie, the market profile, which is this level, basically, same one. So what I see, and I don't know if you see it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show you, is this is reversal, right? Supposedly this is a reversal. Then we fail to make a new high. This is like around the top right here. We try to make a new low right here, 466. So I have a level right here, 465. So you can totally play this one. Over 500, Netflix, over 500, I'm gonna be, a buyer going into 511 and then keeping some for the move if we finally go back to bullish, right? So 500 is one, but if you wanna short it, I won't blame you, especially if you go once we break the 50 MA, which is 476. So under 475, uh, 475, we can probably test 465, 460, right? So just because I have two lower highs, I mean, two lower highs, yes. And, and 
I'm not liking the fact that we're going under this volume right here. So for Netflix, over 500, under 475. Here is probably a clear picture when, when I take off all, all of these things that I have right here, here's clear. So I'm probably doing this, you're right. So 478, 475, go short, target one, 466. We break 466, we go lower and we, we see where they take us. So I'm gonna write that down under 466. That'll be my ad. So that's uh, Netflix. Let's go to the other streamer nowadays. So this one is Disney. Nothing there over one three over one three three one three three. So that's the green line. I have my alarm right there. I'm waiting for that. I'll get worried if we start breaking one twenty four. But this should be support. Right now, what we what we got, we could see soon is the 50 going over the 200. They call it the golden cross or whatever. So 50 over the 200. We have the 200 123, which is the same level that we held on earnings, and it was great earnings because of subscriptions and you know all the data, 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 fundamental information. What I don't like about Disney, and this is probably why we're having so much trouble to break, is this one right here. Remember the weird alligator that we had that's not an alligator we, we got to come up with something else because this is not it anyways so look at the upper jaw is one three three so we stop right there so it's kind of a level but once we go over one three three one three four i'll say one three nine and then we just skip it and see if this is going to be a real recovery and real move in this stock so that's disney another one that i watch a lot is boeing and for Boeing, I got to go to my clean chart because this one you won't get to see anything. All I want you guys to notice in Boeing is that we're trading close to point of control for a long time right here. So that 183, 181, 183, that's, a, that's an area that I like to watch. And then I come right here and I try to time it, right? So the last, um, I think we posted this one as a reversal trade in the, in the trading room. Cause it's so hard guys. I mean, it, like, like making a call every 15 days is so hard. So that's why we encourage everybody to just join the room and make sure that we're on top of everything. So we, we came down to two Bollinger bands, which is like usually some sort of uh, extension 2.5 standard deviation from the mean. So this is a mean reversion, total mean reversion trade. We call it as that. We said, this is a reversal trade. So this is it. Target one is right here into point of control. You don't see it here, but you can see it here. That's that's one of the ways I use the point of control. So you have the point of control, you go over, try to go up, look where we stop. So that's the that's the next entry, right? 190, so you wanna go over 190. What we're doing right here, we're just testing this level right here, 166, so you, have, you see my thing right here. 165, 166, I'm fine being long that one. And then I'm just going for 190. So 155, 166, if you wanna short, short under, this support right here. So you can short under 165 and you find, right? Target one, 153, that's, that's actually, that's getting pretty good also. So under 165 to 153. Yeah, now risk reward, I'm liking it. 190 is my main long to go long uh, Boeing, right? And then go to Microsoft, which is, this, this is, a, this is the one that I have mostly prepared for the day. So these are not much, very dirty right here. This is what I call a dirty chart. I don't know what to do right there. So all I wanna wait is they decide to bring it to new high. So 217 to 18, that's the entry. That's the goal line. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, you can play here 213 because we have the support of the volume profile here. So if you wanna scalp it, you can go 213 213 to 217 probably. So that's an option too, unless anything else is moving. So the way I go is like, if I see it moving, I know I can go 213 for five points. But if I don't see it moving, I'm not gonna waste my morning, especially this time of the year, right? The summer where there's no volume and I'm, be, I, I, I'm the one trading Microsoft on a day that is doing nothing. So keep an eye on that one, put a couple of alarms, let me know or let us know, let the team lo, know if we have some increased volume on that one. These ones are the ones that look like they wanna break out. 
so I got a solid listing here. I know some of you posted in the room, so I know there's a lot of eyes on this one. So my um, um, MasterCard, 335, over 335. Sound check, can you guys, uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Perfect. So 335, that's a breakup play on MasterCard. I don't want to see it losing 326. Reason, right here, right? I, I want to assume that after this move up, we've been accumulating right here. So that's accumulation for a move higher. So I want to see it probably 334, and we came from 308. So that's 30 points. We can see it 370, right? So 335 to 370 target. Right, but we don't want to see, we don't want to lose 326. And I think you, you're watching that one, right? Oh, you, you long. Yeah, I have a position. Okay, okay good. So that one's, uh, that was an ad, 335 to 370, right? And the 326 should be the, the new stop. I don't want to, I don't want to see it losing it. So that's one you want to, you guys want to be on top. Absolutely. Once we start seeing the volume, volume is increasing, by the way. Look at the last three days. So I like it. I like it. It was a checkout yesterday. Don't get scared. Tomorrow may be the day. So Visa 2. I know Tanner was looking at this one. So Visa. Uh, Visa, simple, right here. 203. What I like about Visa is, because I know I like something about this. <laughs> I got to go to my indicator. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This has been nasty right? Nothing. Has done nothing for 47 days, basically. So this is, yeah, you can call that this is something. This is nothing. It's 200. It's moving like 10 points. So this is a range, but look at, look at all the volume we've done. Look at the, we're over point of control. So this one over 203 should be a no-brainer too. So we could go 203. What's that like? 10% uh, to 20, to 20 to 30 easily so we gotta have uh we gotta we gotta put some some plan together for 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 visa too i like the volume today probably it was just the market why the reason why it didn't go right so here's here's the alarm let's put alarms because that could be tomorrow i don't know i have bad experiences with visa trading in intraday but if if it's a day you know the day that is going to break out well probably it's going to be it so I, i'll encourage you guys to buy as much time as you can 30, 60 days, whatever it is, because it should be a big move, 210, 220, right? Just remember, 47 days doing nothing, so probably 48, 49, 50, and then if you're buying the, you know, the weeklies, you, you're out of money, you're out of time. Nike is another one. This is, I like to call it the green line plus one. So basically, it was, entry was yesterday, <laughs> hindsight. We have the volume, we have, uh, 107.38, and then we have confirmation volume today, but it crapped, so I don't know what's going on in this one. Let me see if we can find um, another entry. So it's probably the market. So I want to be watching 109.50 and trying to get a trade tomorrow just for continuation if we go over there, right? What I don't want to see is I don't want to see it losing 107, right? Once I start going, seeing uh, 106.90, 106 something, now Nike is not going to be any longer on my watch for that day, and I'm going to start looking at how we react to 104. Same idea that we have with the, with the what was it, uh, MasterCard, right? We have the big move. Now, we, I, I like to think that this is accumulation. If it's not accumulation and they're not going to support the price, I want to be out, right? That's the way I trade. So that's the Nike. Palo Alto Networks is another one, same trigger, same same pattern, same everything. So we're looking at 272.50 for today, 270, 270 actually. So we're looking at new all-time highs. This is just pure momentum if, in case you're, you guys weren't watching it or whatever. This one, at least we have 156% volume. So we did have volume. Let's see how we traded intraday. So the same thing, sold off at the you know, with the market. So for momentum, you can do 222.30 for sure to 80. And the 280 comes from, I have no idea where I got that 280. Probably is a target. Yeah, probably is just target one, 280 for an intraday play. So that's Palo Alto Networks. Uh, Square, 
similar, but not so similar. The thing is like we reported earnings, so close the gap. Now we're trying to make a new high. If we don't make a new high, I'm gonna start favoring the short side, right? So we still need to pay attention to this level right here, 153, 154 for a momentum trade, right? So I have my line right there, 152.87, 153, 154. We know how this works. It's like one day it trades beautiful and then, you know, the next two days does nothing. So all I, like for this type of trades, and I'm going to touch into some of the other ones that I really dislike. Well, this is one, the, uh, the one, this is one of the ones that I don't like to trade that much unless it's on a big volume day. And then I know my trigger could be like 154 and then you can trade it. Otherwise, I don't want to mess with this name. So that's a skew. And I like UPS. I'm pretty sure you guys are on top of this one too. So we got the 163, simple. That's just a breakout trade. So shouldn't be a problem to see in that one. It's a breakout play, new highs. PayPal, I was, I was looking at this today because of two things, two points I want to make. The 200 is key, right? And the 188 right here. Where is it? 188 is here. Yeah, the 188 is key. So I want to be watching those two, right? Reason is I was expecting this to make a new high, but 200 was rejected. The, mo the moment 200 gets over, I'm willing to take this trap, you know, trap trade to 205 and then new highs. So that'll be number one. That's pure momentum. If I see it 200, 205, that's pure momentum trade, right? But if I start seeing it losing 180, 188, right? You can see 186, target one, and then we probably hit 178. Where do I get that from? Because here's the volume that I have. So I have volume up until 190, 190. I know there's a tail right here, but I'm not sure how much volume was done right there. So I'm gonna be looking at that as target one, 186. So I can probably take a uh, two, two point scalp during the day. But if 186.50 gets broken, I'm going to write that down. 186 gets broken on the 186.50 actually gets broken. It's probably going to test right here, 178. And that's a good trade. You know, risk reward, that can be a really good trade. You're risking probably two points, trying to make 12. So PayPal, that's, that's why I have it. Here's my list least favorite stocks. So Roku, you know, I hate trading this one. Here's the reason why. Choppy, ups, downs. There's a day, a couple of days where you can trade it and make money like without sweating bullets. So this is it. Why, why am I looking? Why, what am I looking for this one? 160, I want to be long if we go over 160, just in case they decide that now Roku is going to be the new Netflix or whatever. So over 160, I'm willing to take it a shot at that one. And if you start losing 142, I want to look at that too. Because it's a 50 MA, we bounce two times at 143, actually three times, one, two, and three times. So 143 for a short into 132. So that's 10 points and I like shorting for 10 points. So 143 to 132. So that's uh, Roku and the other one that I don't like to trade but I have to bring it to your attention is beyond. And the reason is because of this support right here, 119, 120, right? It was tested here after big reports prior, tested again, tested again, tested again, tested again, tested again, tested again. So what I'm looking for is a reversal trade in, in let me take this off. What I'm looking for is a reversal trade in beyond. So you, you can all see this level, right? That's the 120. So it's pretty simple. We go over 128, right? And I can take it to 132, which is around here. And if it continues, because I'm, I get lucky, then we're in a trade, longer term. Well, all, I'm, all I'm looking for is buy support right here and take it into point of control, which is 132, 130, 133, actually, 133, 135, So all I'm doing is like 128, if I see it tomorrow that it's going 128, look at the volume right here. I know it's messy because of the chart, but um, yeah, you cannot see if I go like that, it's just here, 132, 
what, I'm sorry, 128 to 132. So beyond will be a reversal and I'm marked as a reversal. Now, what, what do you guys have? CM, let's go. So CM, um, low volume today. So that was not, that, that breakup was not gonna work on lower volume today. So we got, uh, actually, actually that makes it bullish. If we go over 281, so let's play the momentum on that one. Two, you can do 280.50 or you can be aggressive and try to buy today's high. I like the pattern. I like the weekly over 281. Yeah, let's not be cheap. Let's just wait for confirmation. So yeah, I like, I like Zoom over 281. Airlines, oh, shop. Shopify. I haven't seen that one in a while. So Shopify, it's uh, sideways, 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 and dirty, right? This is a this is the type of charts that I don't like. So you want to be trading this one? I want to put an alarm at 1670 right there. Once you get out of this mess, and to the short side, uh, I don't want to touch it. 978, then you have support 945, then you have support 922, then nah, for 10, 20 cents, uh, 10, 20 points, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with a $900 stock. How are we doing on time, Kyle? Um, so that's, yeah. okay, let's do some airlines. So Delta, Delta, what I like is uh, we're on top of the point of control now. Here it is, uh, check this out. So I was expecting a bigger move. I think we call we, we caught a little bit of this move. So I'm looking at the 30 to finally break. That's where I have my green gray line. Actually, it's not green because we still we still a reversal. All I'm seeing is I'm trying to trade it as a pullback. You see, guys, like uh, here's the point of oh no, point of control is far. So this what I'm what I'm trading right here is the 20 MA. 26.83. So 26.83 is with the 50 MA2. All we have is a big move from 24 to 30, which is six points. That's a 30% move, guys. 30% move. We're pulling back 50%. Once we start seeing this Fibonacci holding, we go 29.24, which you'd expect target 130, and then probably 32s. And so I like it. I, I, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on Delta. Another, the other eye on AAL doesn't look as good as, as Delta. Uh, I like Delta a little better. And then what's the other one? Save. Uh, problem is that they move big, but since they've gone down so much, the charts don't look good. This is pretty much the same. I like, I like Delta better. I think Delta is a better looking one. Just, just the chart. Just, just look at this. Try to trade this. You know, thirty percent move, pull back. Let's go back up. What else? Tesla. Oh yeah, spot. That's the other. That's the other one. That's the other tough one. So what we have here, it's probably we have a, a weekly. Weekly bullish, pattern. We need to clear two sixty five seventy two based on chart. Just on chart. So that'll put us here to 65.72. Yeah, that's where I have my alarm right there. Uh, volume 60, that's, that's low. That's the thing. I'm not sure how this thing works because I remember we started trading it before it started moving, the big moves. I think there was this, this move that we got. So nowadays, I don't know, I don't know if we, Look, look, this is 12 million, this is 7 million. Now, what are we trading these days? 1.6 million, that's nothing. However, what we have is we have a bullish pattern and we're over point of control. So I have volume supporting me um, over 268 for an intraday trade. I'll probably take it, 268, 270, go, go like that, scalp it. 268, 270, 299 if you're lucky, you know. So let's put spot 268, and that's basically more more of a scalp, right? Because chips, we haven't done chips. Oh, we just did Nvidia, right? 
Wow, sorry, yeah. man. AMD. So AMD. This is another one that I don't like to trade, but I like I like the weekly chart. We just we just have a massive run. So we have a hammer. We know a hammer is like buyers step up at the lower prices. So what I'm working with on AMD is this range. So 84.35, 84.50 to go long. And then over 87.30, you decide if you want to hold it for 95 <laughs> or whatever this will be. This, this is a two ATR uh, Bollinger Bands, 2.5 actually. I'll give it a little bit more. So I know that the biggest target is 95. So it should be like 93. Cut it a little bit short, but I'm trying to force myself to get there. So just the range, guys. AMD range. AMD is a range, and let's 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 uh, keep those um, prices. So it's going to be 84, 70, 85, and 75, 85 by 75. And it all depends on how you trade, guys. Because if you trade the ranges, it's so big that you can actually short it inside the range or buy it. You know, buy support, sell. You know, you know how to do that. So, it, what else do we have on? Uh, oh, MU. Oh, I hate this stock. Look at that. And this one's finally trending. I don't know if we comment on the on this one last 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 week, last meeting. So, what we have is, I think we were around here, right? And we have the same pattern that we have on that other stock, that Visa, that is just going sideways. So this one was going sideways. So there was like nothing going on dead sideways. And I think uh, some news, um, I, I don't remember the news guys. So I know there was some news. So here we are, 44. Here's what we need to pay attention to. Look at 44, how important it is for this one. Look at the 44, look at the, all the volume here. So I got 46 right here. And look at the volume profile on the weekly chart, right? So the weekly chart, we still have 43.28 to break. This one we already broke on the monthly. So I'm gonna use this 43.28, right? As my last line of defense right here. So 43.28, I'm gonna start looking at that one. We see how we react to 42. Now, what I don't do, you guys know me, is I don't short into support after basically we just lost like 15% in a couple of days, right? So I'll be looking for a reversal trade on this one. If we break, fine, you can take that, that, that trade too, but I'll be looking for how we react to 42.50, 43.50. I'm gonna write that down actually. So 42.50 and 43.60, 43.50. And remember guys, if you're trying to buy a downtrending stock, make sure you have some rules, right? I, I do have many rules that I'm not allowed to do. Like if a stock is down and the market is going down, that's not the day to buy it. Probably wait till the next day. Even if I miss the bottom, I'm not trying to catch a bottom. So make sure you have some rules that will make it easy for you to know when to trade, when not to trade. So this is Doku. This is one of the other stay at home, well, work from home actually, because this is for signatures and stuff like that, documents and stuff like that. So Doku, uh, I think volume dried on this one. Um, I've been trying to catch this one to the long side, but I think I'm, I think I missed it. Um, no call on Doku, guys. This is the type of pattern that I don't like and I don't even want to see what it looks like. But <laughs> I don't even want to say what it looks like. But I don't like it. I'd rather have it, you know, let it, let it see how it tests. Once we start testing 200, let's see how it reacted 200 and, you know, 198. And then, you know, what I'm thinking, probably a reversal trade. I don't know. I don't know how much they're pumping this one. Doku, what else, guys? Fastly, yeah, I have Fastly. I like that one. We need to clear this one right here, 89.60. If we're thinking long, right? If we're thinking next stop, because because all we have here is we have a massive run and we have a consolidation at the top. So I want to make sure that these guys that are these levels are actually buying and supporting the, the stock. The way to know that they're supporting is because they start like 
you know, we, we, we see the accumulation right here of these levels and we see all the tails and, you know, the action here, <laughs> like right in here, we have volumes. So I want to see 8550. Let's put our alarm about 8550. That's when I will be really interesting for this one. 8950, 90, 100. So if we go, um, I had it on my chart over 89, 90. So over 90 to 100, fastly. Yep, let me write that down, fastly. I'm not sure how, how, how it trades intraday either. So that could be one what of about, the, yep, about sorry. the 82, I see your alert there. This 82, um, that's probably, a, that, that's probably a, an intraday alert. Cause I, I can see here okay. 81. So that's, uh, if you're planning on doing like uh, momentum trade, right? The way right. I use it is like right here, right? I know, supposedly, I know support should be around 76, 79, right? So I'm thinking I may have some support in here. So if I see this thing, this thing starting to run tomorrow and I really want to do momentum and I have nothing else to do and I see the price action. So it's, it's a lot of decision making at the time. So 82, reason why probably that one, I put it today because we have higher than average, but no, we didn't. We're still, we're still there. So since we're calling it for, you know, longer time frame, I'll say 85, 89, okay. right? But yeah, I see it. I mean, you, you can totally buy this. It's, it's one, two, three, four, five days base. Absolutely, 82.50, yep, for tomorrow, right there. If we have this move like today, absolutely, that's a go-to. So yeah, 82.50, let's do for tomorrow. If you wanna do momentum and we have volume over 82.50, over 85, and then keep it 89, 90, and, and so on, so on, so on, so What else we have, guys? Fastly, we have the Fastly. Uh, this one we did last week, so we hit pretty much 50. So I'm keeping it on my radar just in case we break 50. That's ANKLA. Um, I'm starting to look also the pharmaceuticals, right? Uber, oh my God, Uber is horrible. Uber is horrible, guys. Every time I try to time this one, it stops me. Can can trade over. So, what do we want to do with over? The thing is that I see a, a, a range right here, right? I see 28.95. So, I understand if you want to short it because it looks like a short, but then I have all of this thing right here at 28. So yeah, it's a scalp. Yeah, if we break, it's 28, 27, 26, 20, you know. I'm pretty sure you can use uh, your money somewhere else. It's not a better trading stock. Now you're thinking reversal, that's what I was thinking. That's, that's where my, you know, this is the trade that I wanted today. The 3466 and then finally go long because what, I'm, what I was looking is like long over 35 and over, you know, because of uh, um, IPO prices and going to new highs. But I think there was some news in California, if I'm not mistaken, that, that they took it, took it down, right? So yeah, let's do the banks. Let's get the, those out of the way. So Goldman Sachs, it was pulling back to 200, which is the point of control. So watch it here. Look at the 200, how important it is. So 200, 220, we've been, we've been watching that, those same levels in, in Goldman for months now. Look at that since May probably. So it's the same, 200, 220. Now Buff, Buff, Warren Buffett, he sold all of his stake in Goldman. I think he reduces his stakes in JP Morgan. I've been trying to do this trade and I did it and you know I get some money and then I try to hold because I think the next move is gonna happen. So now we know that 105, 106, is the next one for, for JP Morgan. Buying usually 97, 98, and usually Goldman Sachs around 200 is a good trade. So what we're seeing here is just a move, pull back, and now point of control. That's all I can say, guys. That's all I can, that's all I can offer, guys. I mean, like, we are point of control. So if you like to buy, with big volume, that, that's, the, that's the area to buy. But do I see momentum? I don't see it. Why? Because it's not going up. Simple, right? Momentum, 
by definition for me is when I start seeing this, right? That day, remember that we have like a couple of days that we say, wow, rotation, this is a momentum. This is what I want to be in. You make 97, you make uh, what, 20 points on 90. That's like a 10, 15% move. Down again, and now we chop. So if you want any other bank, oh, the Citibank, let's just, should be the same, the same. Yeah, they all trade the same. I think Morgan Stanley is the one that is a little bit stronger. Yeah, he's the one that is trading like uh, farther from farther from the point of control. You see, that's the only one. So let's go to Mickey D's. Uh, it's so slow. This one, I like the chart. I like the pattern. It's bullish, but it's so slow. I just got bored with it. So yeah, it was. This was a trade, guys. Two two hundred, two ten target one. And then 220, target two. So same call as uh, last time. Check. You only like uh, real burgers. Oh, we already did the fake burger. <laughs> yeah, we did the beyond, right? So yeah. check, check. I'll keep, I'll keep an alarm at 60, 60, 50. I don't know if you guys saw it from, I got it, but here, the weekly, you see? So we have a massive drop. I want to see it over 60. So basically, I, I want to I want to see it gaining momentum. Uh, it looks interesting. It could go. It could go. We we clo we close to. Again, guys. I mean, once we see, like, we have seen what is being working, right? Like, uh, Nvidia's. Uh, you know, those movers, and and uh, that that's where I want to be in. Basically, mo mo for most of the time. It's like those are the ones are. Are you? Do you have? Do you guys have anything? Let me see. Uh, FCX. I don't know. You follow copper, and minerals and materials. This one I like. I like a lot. Right. It's a cheap one. I know it's copper, and I think it's a play on the weaker dollar too. I don't do fundamental analysis. I don't even understand it that much anymore. I totally forget everything that I studied. But here's support. So support was 1362 and we just break the new highs. Keep an eye on FCX. Look at the volume, big volume today, 139%. If we continue going 1524, look at the longer term right here. Hey, this can give us 1620, I'll be happy. So FCX, just as a continuation move, right? Um, 16 and 20, that's, that's just something different. Um, yeah, we did this. We did the chippers. Yes, keep an eye on UPS, right? Simple. And I think we did F FDX too. Yeah, FedEx too. So the other chippers, Amazon, Neo. That's the other electric car. Um, it was hot for a while. Yeah, I don't want to trade that one. Um, oh, I was I was going to tell you guys. I, I started looking at the Modernas and all of those. Um, um, Pharma's, because I don't know if you guys saw SR Sorrento Pharmaceuticals. They fired the CFO yesterday. So this is, I mean, I don't know if you guys like to do this, but at some point in time, I like to get involved in some of this, right? Of course, not to the long side, but uh, everybody's gonna make millions in coronavirus. I don't, I don't think so. Somebody's gonna be, so keep an eye. Is RNA, Moderna, is MR, Myrna. And um, this one looks good. And then we do Pfizer. Pfizer looks good. And I think they have some partnerships for delivering some vaccines and everything. So I think this is, this is a solid, this is a solid chart. So 39.45, if you guys want to do anything with the, with the pharmas, I think probably that's, that's the one that I'll probably go. I think we have uh, J and J um, on our watch list. I think it was Thursday or Wednesday, Kyle. I don't remember. And there was some news in today about vaccine, and they just pump it up and they just drop it on us. So be careful with that. But anyways, Pfizer, if we can clear thirty nine, and you want an easy trade to forty two, that's ten percent. You can totally do it. J and J, I have it because it looks good too. We have a squeeze. So we've been sideways for a long time, and now we got the 151, 152. We break 152. Look how close we are to all-time highs. 
So that could be worth a shot, right? We have 137% today. We didn't break. So I'll be looking at today's high, which is 51.70, I think it was. 51.58. And that just dropped uh, at the end of the day. So this is actually better, guys. J and J, you wanna you wanna trade some pharmaceuticals. Don't think it's just that we don't know how to play it. <laughs> so J and J, Piton, 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 Piton. Stay at home, stay at home, and ride your bike. So. Did we talk about this one already? I think we did. Kyle, can you hear me? Yeah. I don't did think we, we covered this. No, we didn't, right? Because it peaked no. on, okay. It, uh, the, the, there's another one that looks like a head and shoulders. Right. Yeah, I just, I just. Yeah, it. yeah, not Piton. Not Piton, right? Well, we're trading 67 to 25 after hours. So 69. The, 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 the trade I'll do on this one, and this is just me, I'll be like over 71, right? Which is like uh, the high from two days ago. So that's the one that I really, really want, right? Because P29 I know is hard. So if they're going to buy it, yeah, they, they're going to have to show me that they really want to buy it. So that I can write it for 73 all-time highs and then some, right? So otherwise, we're just going to stay shopping here, right? Like, like shop, shop. So 71 for for scalp i don't want to get too cute buying supporting here because it can be anywhere from 64 to 60 dollars so i don't want to have a, a stop 10 percent stop yeah it was doku probably yeah hey what's up so what else we have um sq we did beyond baba work day walmart. oh walmart um it's a tough one Got sold, big volume. Oh, that was the earnings, right? Yeah, that was earnings. So basically they tried to gap it on earnings, they didn't do it. Still in the squeeze, it's amazing. We just, we just went through earnings and it didn't even trigger the squeeze. So we still like low volatility, low compression, same price. I'll say if you really wanna buy Walmart, buy Target. But if you really wanna buy Walmart, 136, just let it at least, make a, an engulfing pattern on this one, right? But yeah, what's target? We, we did target, right? Yeah. Yeah, for tomorrow, right? Yeah, 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 that's, that's easy. So yeah, Lulu, we did. Lulu's doing nothing, man. Wow, am I too fast? I'm already done. What else you got, guys? Let's do silver. Last time I tried to do it, we didn't, and, and we had the massive run. So nah, looking to short gold. GLD, yeah, nothing. Uh, American Express. AXP, guys. AXP pulling back. Well, this is like a, um, a consumer play, right? Like we're going out and shopping and everything. So this is, a, I mean, a point of control. I like it. You can buy 100, but that's like a pullback trade, right? So what I like is you need to, you see this volume right here, 8 million. I want to trap all of those guys. So 116, whoever's short, they have the stop right there, 115. We trap them, we go for 106. So that's 6%, that could work. I like it, but it has to go over 100 guys. AXP 100 to 106 for a quick trade. Reversal, by the way, AXP over 120 to 106. And by the way, most of the times I do like, I, I give it like five, five, five cents more, you know, as a trigger that I, that I like to call because I know sometimes we get too anxious and we just buy, we see zero, zero, and we buy zero, one, and we're the ones buying and then it just reverses on us. So I like to, I like to be out of the way for those. I'd rather pay 25 cents more. So here, Adobe looks interesting. What do we like about it? I like the, I like the weekly, looks bullish, continuation, 
but you need to clear the highs. Absolutely. Yes, Adobe 47061. A D B E over for 470. Everything's like 400 bucks these days. Even shoes, man, they're so expensive. So, uh, yes, CRM, yes, yes, CRM. Need to watch that one. Look at the volume. Look at the last two days volume. I like that one. It's been in play for the last two days. I like it. New all-time highs, 209 to 10. We need an entry on that one. Let's see. Was that just because the market crap at the close? Yes. So 207. We can do momentum over, over 207, over today's high. Yeah, just to test it. Because I think it was pure rejection this morning. The 200 got bought, which makes perfect sense consider, considering the move yesterday, right? Because we, we did moment, we did, I'm, I'm assuming they, they, they accumulated this thing at 200 bucks. So probably if these are, if these are the guys that are gonna play it to their all time highs, I think, I think we can totally, yeah, I like this one just because of volume guys. So 210, let's, let's do 210, the, the green line. So we got the green line at 210, but we can play it, yeah, as aggressive as you want. Uh, 207 is the most obvious entry, yeah, 207. So CRM, I don't remember how this one trades, by the way. Over 207, over 210, new highs. NVIDIA Baba, we have a Target, we have it. Walmart, we have it. CRM, we have it. We have JD, the other the other Chinese one. So it's gone. It's gone. Gotta wait for a pullback in JD. What's the other one? Baidu. Uh, interesting volume. Found a bottom right here, looks like. So 117. Wow, this one's this one looks interesting. Look at this. We haven't seen one of these in a while. Because everything's everything's so high. But look at this. Look at the alligator mouth. So we got 134 to 166. So look at the weekly. So we're on top of it. If we start getting some momentum on Baidu, this could be this could be good. This could be good. Over 128. I wanna I wanna have eyes on 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 Baidu. 128. Over 128, 135, 160. Baidu. Remember when we used to trade this, guys? So, so we don't know what day this is going to trigger. Probably trigger 10 days from now. So we just got to have the, we just got to have the, the alarms, guys. Because we don't know. One day, it just goes up. We don't know what we're supposed to do. Then we see 130. Hey, guys, Baidu, 130. Buy it. Boom. Swing, 135, 160, two days. That happens with uh, Baba. If you weren't looking at that one, you missed the whole, the whole run. Twilio, Twilio, mm, that's, a, that's a nasty reversal, at least on the weekly, let's see. Yeah, far from volume, I don't have any volume right here, so I gotta go to the daily to find volume. So 240 should be support, 260 should be your entry. Um, uh, I don't have that many arguments for Twilio, but absolutely 260 to 290. I won't, I won't blame you for, for trading it. I mean, like if you see volume again, same thing, you see, a, you see the buying, it's, it's just common sense. You just buy it 260, 280, right? The W workhorse again. Hey, that was Tanner that put me into that thing. I, and I didn't even know what it was. That's another electric vehicle, whatever. So thank God, thank God that I make money on that one. But yeah, I don't, I'm not sure I want to be in this one again. Anyways, it's a point of control, 1641 by Tesla. Uh, over 18 bucks, trade it if you want. That was nasty that day. It just goes up and down. NKLA, I did it. Yes, I already talked about it. Over fifty, you can you can you can see the replay. What else we got, guys? So, again, 
all we do is, is uh, you know, with the wicked method that we use, all, all we do is uh, trying to try to find the, the the logic right behind the behind the charts. If we don't see it, if it doesn't jump to us, it's likely that like uh, you know, it's going to be hard for every every you know all the other guys to see it. So always you know be checking the how supply and demand forces are interacting and, and, and watch for price action, you know, the volume, how's the volume going? Gaming. Oh, you like gaming. I don't like it anymore. AT, ATVI, that was, that was, that's, uh, yeah. Reporter earnings, all time highs, then it's just sold off. So 81, um, can tell you much, my friend, about it. How about take two? Let me see, TTWO. So take two looks a little better, looks a little better. At least it's out of that congestion. So for this one, you have volume that you can work with. So work with 171 by 177. Simple. So T2, let's do a range. 171, 177. TTWO, 171, 177. And that should be like, just wait for the stock to tell you what exactly is it going to do. So here, 177, rejection. Here's the volume. You know, support should be, wow, support is 171. So we already hit it. So you got to go for the next one, 166. Not loving it. 170. It's just messy. What's the other one? Take two, double top. Yeah. Yeah, could be, could be. The problem is that it's so strong that I usually don't like to short those stocks right i don't like them but yes it, it it could be it could be i mean try the momentum if you see 171 your stuff should be like so small that it's not going to hurt you you know if you try to short this one what's the other one atbi t2 and yeah. ea sports in the game yeah I used to play fifa all the time so ea sports they, they don't, I don't like the way they trade, guys. Oh, I remember one I saw last night, ADSK. Look at the, look at the, look at the compression that we have. 28 days going sideways. Look at the monthly chart, right? And look at the weekly chart. So this is technically bullish, technically bullish. And we have the move from 172, to 240, which is like 50% move. So now it's been going sideways like for a couple months, three months. So if we start seeing 252, I like it, okay? I don't know how this one trades because we haven't traded in a while, right? But ADSK over 252, I like it. Again, remember, we, we call in this for, for a couple of weeks. So, so we need the 252 to go to 260, 270. So we hit target, right? If you want to go before and you want to day trade this one because there's volume and anything, you can, you can buy 246. That's where my line is, right? Which is the high from Monday, uh, from Tuesday, actually. 246, 247. So 247, what you're doing is you're doing this anticipatory entry. You don't need to wait for two to put one if you have volume. I've seen volume. That's what I'm calling it. Like the last two days we have volume. So that could go. So I like ADSK and probably for tomorrow over 247 if we have volume, right? Over 247 with volume. What was the trade that we did today? Oh, RCL. Yeah, one of the cruises. So that one, look at the pattern. Again, one, we have the volume on oh my god i'm giving you guys a lot of information right here so this is a volume after earnings right so you have the big move you have the consolidation then you go sideways dead sideways moment you see a break and you go long that's that's what we call today right so market crap on it but it was a beautiful opening play look at that 60 to 64 that's what you're gonna catch. So now we're looking at that one, but you know, I, I wanna see probably 62 and I don't think it's gonna be as violent as today. So anyways, what I like is this pattern right here, you see where we were, we're 
point of control. And now we're making like a higher low on the longer time from the weekly chart. So let's go back and let me see what you guys have. Oh, Riot. Yeah, we need some uh, Bitcoin. It just doesn't trade nice. No, there's another one. Um, not Riot. The other one. Uh, Overstock. O-S-T-K. Yeah. This one's, this wow. one's, yeah, this one's better. We talked about this one last, last meeting. Are we a bear market yet? <laughs> no, but keep shorting. <laughs> Just average, average, average up. It doesn't matter. Eventually it's going to fall. Yeah, look at this one. So I haven't, I haven't followed this one. I got to add it to my, to my daily watch because I, I don't follow this. So overstock should be on my watch. I like that one. Are you still watching Caterpillar and, and Deer and those? Yeah, Cat. Caterpillar, look at that. So we try to break, right? So we try to break. We did trigger. No, but well, volume was okay, but it's it's not enough. It's not a it's not enough for the type of break that we have to do. Because look at this. This is so dirty. The monthly is just. I I rather wait for one fifty, and then we'll probably catch twenty points on that one. So Caterpillar, if you wanna go before, I won't blame you. One forty fifty, just a pattern. It can go. Actually, this is better. Actually, this is better, guys. 140, 140, 146, just as a scalp. So Caterpillar, 140, 146. 140, 141, 145, I'm sorry. 141 to 145, as a scalp. Uh, why I call it a scalp? Because I think uh, we're gonna have trouble right here. And if it was not a scalp, I'll be buying 141 and writing it to 160. So that's why. Intraday, I don't know what's gonna happen. Probably it's gonna give me 10 points, 10 cents. So you play it according to what you see intraday, right? That's the name of the game. Dear all-time highs. This is interesting. Oh, we're coming into earnings, so it's gonna, yeah. 821 two days from now so yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be hearing about deer deer all-time highs um crowd what strike? Else crowd strike crwd crowd strike it's bullish i like it i, I want an entry my entry was 100 so now 120 Yep. Wow. Uh, probably he's going to give us. I mean, let's keep an alarm at one, 103. Why not? Probably. Market gets bearish and we start testing 100. I like it. This is like what we're talking about, like the structure. Right? Like for me, this is bullish. I know you can short here 105 and cover 104 and make money. I understand that. However, um, unless I really see it intraday and see the momentum and the volume and the market dropping and everything, then I'll take it. Otherwise I won't. So we got space that we haven't talked about space in a while. So space, um, now, now, now we, we, we're, we're approaching again, volume profile, I mean, sorry, point of control of around 1550, see it here. See here, 1660 actually. So let's put an alarm right there, 16. I'll see how it works. Not anticipating anything, but if we see 16 and then we start seeing what we, what we saw last time. Remember guys, a couple days, big volume coming in. You can make quick profits right there, 20, 30%. Yeah, already, we already did the, um, the um, spot. Costco? Oh, uh, Costco. Costco. I think Costco is in a sideways move, right? Yes. Yes, I like Costco. Yep. How do we attack that one? So we have a base right here. We broke. Now we, we, we're building another one. I'd rather wait. 345, 345 and a quarter and take it to new highs. 345 and a quarter. I like it. I like it. I don't see anything like special, like 
like a compression or volume profile or anything. It's just, I, I like this right here, right? So it's just a continuation move. Um, yeah, but Costco, yeah, absolutely. Costco is on the watch. Oh, Mbax. Uh, this is Nova Bax. That's the other vaccine. What else do you have, guys? Um, I think that's it. I think that's yeah. it. So we Good have, timing. yeah, I think we have the Google. We cannot, I mean, we got to be on top of that Google. That could be the next Tesla beyond reversal. You know, the, the, the credit cards, especially um, MasterCard, Visa, the 203. And then we have the green lines at Nike, Pan, Pan W, Pan, Palo Alto Networks, Pan, Pan, Pan W, SQ, UPS. Yeah, we have we have some stuff. I mean, we have plenty of stuff, right? Actually, we gotta watch Nvidia, guys. The five hundred, and then we see how we how we treat four seventy five, four seventy nine. I'm sorry, Nvidia. Let me see how it goes. How how is this one doing? Look at that, four seventy five. We're right there. So we'll see if we can start breaking four seventy. We can do the the. Um, I was I was going over my notes today, and this is basically what I what I what I do before the opening day. This is part of my trading plan, right? So, I used I usually go for a breakout or breakdown plays. You know, multi-day consolidations. That's what we scan for, or second day. So second day is like we're, we're target right for tomorrow. So you know, the multi-day consolidations is that the basis where we put the green lights and and that that that's 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 like one the go-to. Right then we have the buy setup, sell setup, which is the reversals, like what we did on Facebook a couple, couple weeks ago. We have like five days down to support, then you buy it. And then we have the tier one gaps and trap gaps. That's like based on some criteria that I follow to, uh, you know, for establishing the gaps. So basically for tomorrow is going to be NVIDIA. So NVIDIA will be here, target will be here. And then we have one of the one of the breakouts in here. So we should be okay, guys. And I encourage you guys, if you don't have this, something like this, just you know, develop something like this. So you always know exactly what is it you're doing, you know? So thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks, Mario. Hey, Appreciate thank it. You. Okay. Have a good one, guys. See you tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. Yep. See you in the morning. Bye.